how to be a priority in his life, not an option. In this video, you will discover how to stop being taken for granted and instead start to be cherished for the valuable woman that you are. Now, if you are ready to know how to make a man that you want desire you more than anything, then comment right below with, I am ready. I'm, of course, your host, Antje Boyd, Magnetize Your Man expert. And this is the channel where we magnetize your man so that the man you want desires and, of course, pursues you forever. Now, if you like anything in this video, my background, my shirt, my hair, my content, please give it a like. And of course, also don't forget to press that bell for more juicy relationship content to come your well. And don't forget, comment, I'm subscribed after you subscribe so we can actually welcome you. Hello. And of course, sharing is caring. So share it with all your girlfriends that you have in your circle. Now, of course, what you want to be looking for is listen for a special bonus secret in this video on what things a man really wants you to share with him. So let's get started and discover exactly how to be a priority in his life. Number five, find your own in his presence. Okay, I love to break this down a little bit because what normally happens if you got trained in your childhood to become other focused, that means you are what I call collapsing into the other person's, so to say, energy, right? In other words, you lose yourself. You forget what you want to say. You don't even know what needs you have in the presence of this incredible man that you have, you know, put on a pedestal. So we're going to talk about that in a moment, right? But so what you want to do instead is actually find your own in his presence, find your own sovereignty, learn how to pull your energy back to yourself so you are continuing to be aligned and you don't have to like disconnect from him or resent him or punish him, but you can simply stay in your own power in the presence of him, which of course then means you are actually aware of your own needs in his presence so you can actually word them and voice them like right in that moment, not like, you know, 10, 10 years later because you have a delayed emotional response, right? Because you lost yourself in his energy, right? And number two is assert yourself to be like, hey, you know what? I don't really agree with this. Um, you actually know how to set boundaries on time. Again, when you find yourself in his presence and that, of course, makes him really want you. So if you're, first of all, comment below if you resonate with that, okay? In particular, if you're like collapsing into a man's energy all the time, losing yourself. And of course, comment below. I'd love to hear which country or state are you watching from, all right? Okay, number four is keep the cliffhanger. What women do so often, such a massive mistake, is they close the loop, right? They put everything on the table. They tell the men every little nook and cranny, every little secret, right? They put everything on the table. So the man, guess what? Just starts to take it for granted because there's nothing to figure out. There's nothing unknown about you. He actually is going to make a lot of assumptions and essentially he's going to assume that he can predict how you're going to behave, that he can predict what you like, and everything becomes like less intriguing. Hence, he's not going to value as much, right? Because he doesn't have to pay as much attention to you because he can just pay attention to you whenever and it'll be great. It's going to work out for him. So if you want him to stop taking you for granted, you actually have to learn how to be in the unknown, right? When you keep the cliffhanger, that means, for example, being the first one to hang up the phone, being the first one to end the texting conversations, right? Or just being like a little tease on a date. Be like, hey, you know what? We could really get into this right now, but we won't, right? And he's like, why not? I want to know more. You know what? Let's talk about that another time, 
right? With a smile on your face. Okay, it's caused us so much intrigue and guess what? It creates this open loop. We always want to create certainty inside of ourselves in order to feel safe. So when you create this open loop, right, it's going to drive a man nuts because he has to close the loop for him to actually feel safe for himself, right? So he'll make all the attempts that he can. He will ask you out again. He'll reach out to you again. He'll cherish you and so on because he has to close the loop. So give it a try. And of course, if you want to learn more about the Join Our Free Magnetize Your Man Dating and Relationship Support Facebook group, hop on over to mymfbgroup.com. Now, another one we want to talk about is take him off the pedestal. So here's the thing. When we meet an incredible man, we usually think this is so extraordinary. This is a once in a lifetime experience and opportunity. And when I lose it, life is over. I'm never going to find a better man. Girlfriend, first of all, when I run my women through my program, what we oftentimes identify is what I call my archetypes. And so what you actually learn is that the men have different energies inside of themselves. And there's usually six main ones. And so what you want to look at is like, okay, he may be strong in one or two, and you may be really highly impressed. But what about the other four? You know, maybe he's a strong little boy, but maybe he doesn't have a strong warrior, or maybe you have a strong warrior, but he doesn't have a strong wild man. You know, he's not really embodied. He's not really in his masculine integrity. Maybe he can't slow down like the lover, right? So just really take him off the pedestal because no man is perfect, except my husband, of course. He has the perfect balance between a masculine and feminine energy. He has all the archetypes integrated. I'm kidding, but I'm not kidding, right? But it takes a lot of work to master that. So, um, so unless you're my husband, <laughs> um, it's like um, men are not going to be, they're not, they're not going to be balanced. They're not going to be that, that aware, right? So this is going to be really important for you to look out for. And then the other piece also is when you meet an incredible man, just like, it's just the usual. It happens every day. Of course the man is interested in me. So train yourself to say, it's just the usual. What happens to your nervous system when you say, it's just the usual, right? Versus actually going into, oh my gosh, like this is so extraordinary. Let me call my girlfriend. Let me freak out. Let me put on my best dress, right? And he's going to feel that. You know, men actually report back to us all the time. Oh, I, I can already tell that a woman already decided that I'm it. You know what I mean? So I don't have to do anything. Why would I do anything? Why would I put my effort in? Then I, then I get like benefit out. It doesn't make sense. So they minimize their efforts. So go ahead. It's time to flip the script. Now, of course, again, let me know below in the comment section if you have been able to do that. If you're putting men naturally on a pedestal and what else you're experiencing, you know, when you do that, you know, and how you're actually not getting basically the results back that you really want, right? And also take our free quiz to attract your man for a long-term happy relationship, mymquiz.com to see where, where do you stand with that? You know, what's happening for you? Um, what's, what's a strength for you? What's a weakness? Um, and let's have a look. Okay, number two is look if you want him to stop taking you for granted be unavailable for last minute engagements if he reaches out to you on a friday night girlfriend you're not available absolutely not right and you want to use the word obviously right so if you reach out to oh obviously i make plans in advance right like obviously i made plans on tuesday for friday not like Friday at 8 p.m. I make plans for Friday 9 p.m. Okay, um, so just really hand him this resume. That's a reality. That's a fact. That's that's obvious. Hello, you know what I mean? Is that not obvious to you? And he's like, oh, wait a minute. Maybe I should question my reality and maybe I should actually adjust it and actually become a more reliable man, right? So you actually make him respect you tremendously when you do that. Like, and it's I know it takes... Uh, willpower, especially when the little girl really wants the attention and you don't have plans on Friday night. But again, you have to think long term. And if you don't want to be one of those women who like either like are being taken for granted 
and then you think, oh, it's the guy. But then you hear from a girlfriend how that same guy is treating that friend totally different, right? Or maybe you hear from an ex who she treated her totally different, right? And then you experience even more shame because you think it's about yourself and it's because you're inadequate. No, it's simply because you handed him the wrong resume, right? You handed him the resume that he can treat you this way. And guess what? Men do what they can get away with, right? If they can get away with getting a cookie from the cookie jar, they will do it, okay? That's just the truth. So call your girlfriend, call someone you really trust, you know, and do whatever you can to be unavailable for men last minute and tell them this instead what I told you. Okay, and of course, if you in general need to learn more how to actually cause this trigger to make any man beg and plead to be with you who don't really see your value and hop on over to triggerhisdesire.com and get my, my, my ebook there as well. Now, and then number one, I wanted to switch, flip the script um, a little bit, is actually use his love language. Now, what we want to look at is what oftentimes happens, we don't communicate into someone else's value system. What we do instead, we communicate from our own value system. So if we love affection, right, like we are affectionate with the partner, right? Or if we love quality time, then we want to spend that quality time with the partner. But maybe that man, for him, it's more acts of service. And potentially, acts of service could mean different things. So it's a good idea to actually say, hey, how, which ways do you feel appreciated the most, right? You can ask that in like early on in dates, just out of curiosity, having fun with it. Like don't get into this deep psychological analysis, right? That's not what we're going at. But you certainly want to say, hey, you know what I, like what's going on there? You know what I mean? Um, and then communicate it to him because it creates what I call, that's not what I call, you know, what it's called, rapport. And rapport can be easily broken, right? And you can actually communicate and influence a man uh, in a positive way, you know, when you have rapport with him. When you don't have rapport with him, right, you're going to have a hard time. You're going to find yourself nagging. You're going to find yourself like feeling needy and clingy. And he, it's not going to arrive at him, right? He's like, there's, there's no benefit for me. I don't understand um, why I should, why I should, I should give this woman the benefit of the doubt, right? So that's something um, that you should keep in mind. Now, before I share my bonus secret, comment below which of these did you already know about and which are surprising to you, okay? And number, the bonus, right? The number bonus <laughs> is, um, you know, allow space. When you allow space, you give a man time to miss you. If you don't give a man time to miss you, then he doesn't feel like, what does it feel like to not be without this woman? Oh, I feel like I'm not having as much fun, right? Or, oh, I don't have as much emotional range. Or I don't feel that inspired. But he can't feel that in your presence. He needs to have the space to feel that. And I don't mean just like a few hours, right? I mean, sometimes even like a few days because everyone has their own cycle to work through until they actually get to the place where they start contemplate how they're actually feeling, if that makes sense, right? And then also allowing space makes them also wanna, well, what are you doing with the space? It also shows that you are secure, right? That you can give him space when he needs it. You know, when my husband and I got married, like we did a shadow ceremony and we acknowledged the deepest, darkest part of us in the actual ceremony and his was um he was afraid to be trapped and i bet with you this is true for many men so when you allow him space he'll he will never take you for granted because you'll literally say with this ring because that's what i literally said at the wedding ceremony i said you're free but you're not just saying it you're actually being it you're actually expressing it you're actually modeling it to his nervous system. And then when his nervous system has space to calm down and to relax, like he was in fight or flight, right? He was like on the edge and he had to learn how to 
please you or like how to meet your needs or all the things uh, to make sure he doesn't do anything wrong. So when he feels like, wow, I can actually relax into my parasympathetic nervous system, right, which is really where we really have the creativity is coming from, the highest level of consciousness and presence is coming from as well. Like he's going to be able to relate to you in a new way. And it can even cause a state change inside of him as well. All right. So again, like, share and subscribe for more great videos like this. And lastly, if you haven't watched it already, when a man deeply loves you, he'll start saying these five things. Ladies, this is it for today. Lots of love. Mwah! And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.